I'm Caroline. And I'm Laura. And we're your typical college students. We work hard, like music, and spending time with our friends and family. One thing that people don't know about us is how insecure we can feel about the way we look. It seemed to us that there's a narrow portrayal of women in the media. And there's a specific criteria for what is considered beautiful. Upon sharing our feelings with those around us, we found that we were only two of the many infected by an epidemic of low self-esteem. Like everywhere I look, um, people are smaller than me. I look in class and see if I'm like the biggest person as far as size goes. Um, yeah, I should probably be on a smaller side. I should love my body, but I don't. And, uh, and that's mostly because of the image I see with other girls making me want to look better. And... You'd always see pictures of like skinny girls, so it always makes me want to go work out and be just as skinny as the people in the magazine. I don't like my legs, I don't like my arms, I don't like my stomach. Like, while I can like know that like it's wrong that the media affects my body, I can also know that it totally does and I definitely like look at models with their like long glossy hair that's like perfectly curled every time and just like feel a little inadequate I guess. I spend far too much money <laughs> trying to attain female beauty. Makeup. We've tried like diet pills. Yeah. They don't usually work. I can pick out a lot of stuff on my body that I don't like. Unless I just keep running. Yeah. After admitting that it affects them, we ask them to describe some of the images that they see. I mean, like, if you really look at, like, high fashion or whatever, and they got, they got this stick figure woman, basically walking hangers, you know, as, as, as females to be admired. And that is not, a, you know, what a real woman should be like. Every day I watch TV and there's something about uh, hair and makeup and weight and I think I see a, every other commercial is about losing weight. Based off the media it would be blonde hair, tan skin, blue eyes, which I have none of. Now they put more focus on what your outside appearance is instead of what your inside, like how you are as a person. They aren't expressing all different kinds of healthy body types. Mostly like weight or the proportions. So like you know the boobs and the butt but the thin waist. Um, also facially, so like perfect eyebrows or um, you know, nice bone structure. And like also like no acne, clear skin, a good smile, um, clear complexion. They portray females to be skinny and have like flat stomachs and nice legs and to be perfect. You have to be 90 pounds and uh, you have to have the perfect eyebrow, perfect hair, perfect boobs, the perfect butt. There's so many things that need to be just perfect. You have to be thin, you have to be tall, you have to have like have bigger boobs, you have to have a butt. <laughs> Oh, it makes you feel like you have to be like that and take dress pictures. After describing all the media images, we asked them if they thought the images were attainable. No, I don't think so. No, it's not unless we all want to be freaking bulimic. And that's not what I what I strive to be, so no. I don't think that at the moment the media standards of beauty are attainable. Oh yeah, well that it's called a disorder, anorexia. These girls go through this stage where they think it's okay not to eat. And the women who like portray those media standards don't even fit the bill. Like without Photoshop and thousands of dollars of beauty treatments that they have to spend on themselves. Like celebrities. They are on when they're on magazine, they get digitally altered, like their arms get brought in and they alter pictures to make them look even better. And so, it's not attainable. It causes so many girls to be like anorexic, bulimic. It causes a lot of eating disorders because girls want to look how people say that they should look. Lastly, we asked what the media could do differently to expand the definition of beauty. 
have role models that are, you know, that we, people could really look up to right? and as just sex objects that are, you know, unhealthy and un unattainable to, to, to the average woman like me, you know? Stop saying that when a celebrity is in a bikini and saying that they're fat because they have a little pudge. Like I said, that makes so much an impact on um, our physical beauty, but concentrate more so on our brains and our education attainment. The media should focus more on like real models instead of like skinny ones. Right. Like actual people, like real people that exist. <laughs> I hear about um, some campaigns doing, like not editing their photos anymore, like um, Ari, I think, is doing something where they're not editing their photo, their models anymore. All they need to do is just show women and girls that their body types are also beautiful. Yeah, celebrate the beauty of the women who are born naturally skinny, but don't make it seem like the women of all different body types with like, you know, broad shoulders and skinnier hips, or with like naturally like more curves or women without thigh gaps or women who are really tall or women who are really short like don't make it seem like they aren't beautiful and like you don't care to represent them and you don't think they're worth like the effort into including them in whatever they're doing because like honestly you just need to accept and understand and show the beauty of women of all different you know, types and backgrounds and everything. That's all you really have to do.